How's it going everybody? My name's Eric. And in this video, we're gonna replace the battery on this Kindle third generation with keyboard. And the specific model for this Kindle is D00901. And if you turn your Kindle over from there is where you're going to find your model number. And although this is the third generation with keyboard, the process is very, very similar, if not identical to multiple Kindle models. On a difficulty scale, I would say this is about a one out of five. It's as easy of a repair as it gets. Amazon did a really good job designing this. And before we get into the video, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribe to the channel, subscribe so you don't miss another project, and let's get into the battery replacement on this Amazon Kindle. So how did I know that this battery was toast? I've had this screen for a while. After I charge it, after I charge it to full capacity, the battery only lasts about five or 10 minutes, and a Kindle's not supposed to last that long. This device is from 2011, so it's safe to say that the battery has gone bad. So we went and we ordered a replacement. I will put a link in the description for your convenience. But what we get in the box here, we get two little plastic prying tools, Phillips head screwdriver, and we get the replacement battery itself. So you're gonna turn your Kindle over, grab the prying tools, and you're going to pry along the sides here. There's a separation of plastic. I'm gonna get it in between there and run it along the bottom. You'll be releasing clips as you do this. You might hear clicking. And we're gonna go all the way around the Kindle. Once you get a nice little popped up corner, you can grab that and pull the back cover off. It should come off fairly easily, just like that. It's just held in with little clips and pieces of plastic. You do wanna use a plastic prying tool, not a metal flathead screwdriver because you don't want to damage, chip, or malform the plastic. You want it to fit together nicely when we put it all back together. We're gonna to take an electronics Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to take out these two screws right here and you're gonna go lefty loosey. Once you get those two screws out, you should be able to pry the battery up from that end and then you're going to pull it out. There are some tabs down here at the bottom. So you lift it up and then pull it out that way. There's all the battery specs for reference. And here is our replacement battery. We're going to put it in just how we took the other one out. We're gonna slide the bottom in first. The bottom should lay flat. And then you're going to press down on that top section. Grab those two Phillips head screws that you took out. And these go righty tighty. And as you can see, I'm already getting a green LED at the top. So we do have power. Now we're gonna grab and reinstall the back case. You wanna look at the speaker grills and match it up to the speakers on here. Or you can look at the contour or the text and know that the text goes towards the bottom of the machine. And we're just going to line it up and then we're going to press down all on the sides. Just pressing and moving, pressing and moving. And you should be able to get it pretty flush. It looks like I'm not flush right here. So I'm just gonna grab my pry tool. I'm gonna pry it apart a little bit and then I'm going to press it down to get it to lock in just like that. Now our Kindle already has booted up. It has half of a battery life. I'm going to plug it in, get it charged, do, um, I'm gonna plug it in, get it fully charged and this thing is going to be good to go with multiple days, if not a week worth of battery life. Thank you guys so much for watching. All of the replacement batteries and the Kindle models I will reference to in the description for you guys to check out. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this repair, throw them in the comments section. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe so you don't miss another project, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.